RFID chip in my hand in college. Nice. Well, you removed it since then? I got it out. How much did that hurt? A lot. I didn't have any antiseptic and the dude just like came out. I went to like a very professional like scarification piercist like guy. Like he's like receives awards in Germany every year for his nice. work. He's like really good. This was in Germany. You had it removed. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. Okay. It was in redacted because he's very spooky about the fact that got he did it. this. Yeah. Okay. Um, and he just like for 15 minutes went at it with like a, a blade. <laughs> <It's a blood> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Usually I have to pay an editor to do that. No, 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 no. I'll redact ahead of time for you. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, it was, I almost passed out. It was like 15 full minutes of him just like cutting and like trying to get this thing in there and like pull it out with these tweet. That's crazy. It was not good, but I'm getting a new one soon. <laughs> Why did you take it out if you're getting a new one? It's a very, well, uh, Long story short, like all I good. I wanted to, what was that? I said I said all good. Okay, you got trunk edit something. Yeah, yeah he like it, it. Just it's not the protocol and frequency that I wanted. That makes sense. Yeah, and and I, when I got it in, I was like I understood what I was doing, but I just didn't understand all the applications that the other ones could be used for. Yeah. So well, technology is constantly evolving. It is. I mean, the, the frequency that I got is an indru- industrial. It's 125 kilohertz, and okay. it's an industrial frequency that will be around before I, or it will still be around when I die. It's really cool. n- a good standard. But the newer one is more well formed, and it's in your phone, so you can actually program it with your phone. Oh, cool! You can read it from your phone. Um, when I went to get mine out, my boss at the time actually we got I, we went up together, and he got one in. Oh, and interesting. He programmed it with the Rickroll URL, so he can scan it on his phone, and it goes, and it starts awesome. playing the song. <laughs> and then he put his like business card or whatever on it. But like, that's cool. Um, but in college, I had one of these, and I had a little reader on my door, and it was before winter break, and I said to my RA, "I just want to let you know, there's this. It has a little screen and like a reader. It says like it was like Haas Dynamics or whatever the heck I put on it. You know, like RFID reader. I was like, I just want you to know, this is so I can unlock my door." I don't want you to freak out about this when you do my room inspection over winter break. I just want you to know. She's like, okay, thanks for telling me, Steve, and whatever. I go home for winter break. It's the day before Christmas, and I get a call from the chief of police oh. of Stores, Connecticut, oh, around Yukon. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, Steven, I'm here with the, the uh, bomb squad and Wait, fire what? marshal. Uh, we have some questions about your dorm room. <laughs> <laughs> so my RA thought it was a bomb. Oh, jeez. And she After calls, you told her? I told, I told her. And bomb squad comes in. They then they went to my room and they found a gasoline uh, engine, a flamethrower, and a whole bunch of propane tanks. And- <laughs>